Hello. <laughs> it's great to see you. I'm Faith. I'm a singer, songwriter, performer, music therapist, and music instructor in Cleveland, Ohio. And I just wanted to invite you to my picnic today. I know it's been really scary, the pandemic has been really wild, but I'm really glad to share this moment with you. So I'm going to be playing some songs for you, and I hope you enjoy. This first song is called Vulture. <laughs> soft animal which is the title of the album that I am recording and is an homage to a Mary Oliver poem in which she says you only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves so here is soft animal <laughs>
make sure you stay hydrated. Or maybe have a glass of wine and cheese. <laughs> so much for hanging out with me today. I've been Fig, and there's one more thing I want to show you before we end our time together, and it's my music video for my song Pomegranate. So you should definitely check that out, and thanks so much for tuning in. You can follow me everywhere at Fig Newtunes. F-I-G-N-E-W-T-U-N-E-S. Thank you so much again. <laughs>
Sometimes I hold them in Afraid that I'll jump But it's hard to taste seas when they fall right down your throat My mother always told me Entire window sill. I'm trying to eat them all. I've got a whole stomach to fill. You told me they were sweet, and I believed what I heard. So I swallowed them whole, just like I swallowed your every word. Hi. Hello. This is our take two. We just made a really nice video and it didn't say. So. So I am Colleen. And I'm Tiara. And we are co owners of Blanket and Board, which is a luxury picnic service. We throw picnics in the park or at your house and you get really nice with candles and blankets and fresh flowers. And a lovely charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. So we're making a board that's inspired by a painting by John F. Francis called A Still Life with Fruit and Wine. Yep. So we have a lot of fruit and a bottle of wine and some vegetables too. Yeah, and he just happens to be from the great state of Pennsylvania like we are. Well, I guess Colin, you're not from. Not but you live here now. You're a Pennsylvania resident. I am a resident. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, we started making a board. Yes. Um, 
we started with the Caprice skewers, which I'm gonna make another one. Right, yep. Yeah. So for Caprice skewers, you're gonna want these little grape tomatoes. Um, Mozzarella balls. And fresh basil. And this is from Tierra's garden. It is from my garden, my little herb garden. <laughs> it's flourishing. It is. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make one too. Okay. Um, so I like to put a tomato on, a fresh piece of basil, fresh piece of uh, mozzarella, then another fresh piece of basil, and then another tomato. Um, We've been using um, grape tomatoes for these. Um, this is probably my favorite part of the board. Yeah, and um, so once you're done, we like to drizzle it with some balsamic glaze. Um, we have this really amazing glaze from, what's it, what's the place called? Olive and Marlowe. Olive and Marlowe. They are in the strip district. Um, this is a fig balsamic vinaigrette. And then this is a Meyer lemon extra virgin olive oil. Um, so I really like this these. fig. Um, charcuterie boards are a really nice, light, you know, snack. I mean, sometimes, like, I eat it for dinner. We eat it for dinner all the time. <laughs> all the time. Um, Not sometimes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually, like, bonded over our love for charcuterie when we started to, like, travel together. Um, and we're social workers, so we would, like, we couldn't afford to go to, like, nice restaurants all the time. So we would just come in and go shopping. We bring a cooler, go to the grocery store, mm -hmm. buy everything we need for a charcuterie board. Right. Uh, Trader Joe's is a really great place to start. Yes. yes. Um, We've been frequenting um, Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Yes, that's where we try to get most of our products. You know, it's fresh. A lot of, they have a lot of organic options. And they have a lot of interesting varieties of things like I don't know where else I could find figs. Okay. You know? Yeah, they have a really good selection of like I love their like cured meats. Mm -hmm. um, their cheese we so use yeah, this so I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I think it's Bella Vitano. Oh Bella Vitano. And the other one is Mache Machego. Okay, that one's easy. Yes. Yeah. Um, um the Bella Vitano one has like a purple rind. Really I think good. it's like made with like Merlot. Oh yeah. Uh, red wine. Um, so yeah, so they say to every great charcuterie board, you always have like three um, vegetables, three fruits, um, good cheese of course, um, some meats, um, something salty. So like we have some nuts here. Um, it's a mixed nut like melody with like different, with um, hazelnuts, almonds, Cashews, pistachios. Um, yeah, some pretzels. Yeah, we're gonna add some more pretzels. So I wanna get that salty and crunch. And crunch on there. Yeah. There's a lot of soft cheese. Yeah, and and if you're you know if you don't eat meat, you know you don't have to um, you know put meat or cheese on the board. If you you know you're vegan, we just bought some vegan cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can still be called a charcuterie board even if there's no meat. Yeah, it doesn't have to be just a meat and cheese board. We put Caprice skewers on almost all of our boards. Yeah, they're a big hit at our picnics too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the other thing is that you want to have a variety of colors. Yes. Um, and then you want to like stagger the colors out. So like we have some red and yellow peppers. Um, with carrots. Carrots. There's a lot of orange over here, so I'm gonna put these over here. Okay, some peas. Mm -hmm. I am going to, I love cucumbers. Um, I like to like kind of uh, stack them on the board. The boards always look really good when the food is kind of falling mm -hmm. on each other. Um, and we kind of figured that out when we were preparing too much food for the size of the board. Yeah, and then... But when we 
figured out how to cram it all on there, the boards actually ended up looking really nice. Yeah, and it's a lot of food. It's, like, yes, it is. you'd be surprised. Um, it seems like an appetizer, but yeah. it's very filling. Alright, so I'm going to add some more nuts. We also, so some people like to, you know, dip their vegetables, so we also have um, a, a spinach dip pair. We also use spinach dip um, during our picnics. It's really popular. Yeah. Um, bruschetta. So yes. So like fresh bruschetta is really good um, on a board. Mustard. Yeah. Um, like a balsamic glaze or olive oil. The pretzels and the mustard are really good, and the meat and the mustard is really good too, so. Yeah, some people like to use like a jam. Yes, we have some jam. But some grapes, because a charcuterie board is not complete without <laughs> grapes. And there's grapes in the meat. Yeah, that painting had a lot of grapes. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I've noticed is um, I don't like it when there's too many savory things touching the sweet things. Mm. So I don't like it when the spinach dip is touching the fruit. The fruit. <laughs> like that cherry is? Like yeah. it's touching that cherry? I, right I, I put that there. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put the jam over here by the grapes okay. because that's. Yeah. See, I'm like that too, offensive. but with the vinegar. Mm. So, like when you put the olives and the pickles on a board, I don't like if they're next to. Like, like the strawberries. The strawberries, because yeah. then you have like vinegary strawberries. Which, the, ba the balsamic next to the strawberries is pretty good. Hmm, never thought about that. Oh really? Mm -mm. So here we have, speaking of strawberries, we have some strawberries. Um, We've been using a lot of seasonal fruit, but everybody loves strawberries. Right. So, um, so the salami for the meat, like we just use some regular salami. I rolled it. I'm stuck it under like the peas because it looks really nice rolled. Um, prosciutto looks um, good rolled too. So, Pierre um, likes to cut these and they look like hearts and I think they're really they do cute. They look like hearts. It's unfortunate, be careful though because strawberries can stay in your, your board. Yes, they can. <laughs> Use a dark board. Yeah. Yeah, picking a board is really important too. Um, we have this nice, thin, long board today. Um, we use circle boards in the past. Um, yeah, the circle ones look really nice. The circle ones, light the boards. The tiered ones. Oh, okay, yeah. Those are kind of fun. The tiered boards are nice. Um, uh, we've been using the spicy salami a lot too. Oh my god, that salami is so good. Yeah. Okay. Some pepperoni. Is there some pepper salami? There's not, no, but okay. it's, <laughs> there's this one peppered salami. It's, it's, it's just salami, but it's, it's just like ground pepper yeah. around the... It's a little bougie, because mm -hmm. I know we're like a little bit bougie with the meats and cheeses. Um, but you could put cheddar cheese you could. in your board. We you could. put cheddar and Swiss and pepper jack in our delivery boxes. Okay. In addition to the, yeah. the Merlot and the Machego. 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 <laughs> All right, can you hand me the vinegar thing? Yes. Okay, so here we have some pepperoncinis. I feel like charcuterie boards are extremely like um, like you have to have like a pickle or like an olive on it. I feel like it's not even a board if you don't have that on it. However, you can make boards for whatever occasion, whatever occasion you want. Um, like I've seen people do like taco boards. So instead of all of this, you would have like ground meat, cheese, like pico de gallo. Um, oh, that's cute. So you just like make your own taco. We do a brunch board. We actually have a brunch board like tomorrow. So like instead of um, instead of the meats and the cheeses, I mean we put cheese on it, but we have bagels and cream bagels. cheese and yogurt, boiled and eggs, granola, avocado, mm -hmm. um, coffee, coffee, orange juice, orange juice for mimosas, mm -hmm. um, chocolate, chocolate. Yeah. yeah, we put chocolate on all of our boards. Oh, we have Nutella. 
So like, you can like put it on your bagels, so like a brunch board. Or your strawberries, or your, strawberries. Or your pretzels. Mm -hmm. um, I saw someone do like a Greek board. So they had like hummus mm -hmm. with the olive oil, they had feta cheese, um, naan. Sometimes um, tiramisu tzatziki. Oh, I like it when you I do love that. that tzatziki dip. It's really good. They have really good tzatziki dip at um, Trader Joe's. And it's actually not a Greek yogurt, which is pretty healthy. All right, so I'm gonna put some pickles over here. And I just stick the chocolate around wherever I put the oranges. Oh, and the strawberry. So like if it's hot and the chocolate melts, you have chocolate covered strawberries. And lately the chocolate has been melting. Yeah, it's been really hot. Put these olives on. extra mustard. Mm -hmm. We've been starting to uh, put dates and figs on the boards mm -hmm. too. Mm. It's a sweet, a healthy sweet. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the what the deal with dates is. That you don't think people eat them? No, I like them. Oh, okay. Um, I like the figs too. They're really sweet. I've never had a. Oh, yes, I did. Oh my god. I'm scared. No, try it. Okay. You remember like when I was a kid, you remember Fig Newtons? Yes. It tastes like a Fig Newton. Really? Okay. Oh my god. It's just like a Fig Newton. It's good. <laughs> it's a Fig Newton. These are dried figs. I like figs, no. I didn't know you had dried figs. <laughs> Because you're scared that you wouldn't like it. Because you don't like dates. Yeah, I like dates. Yeah, I know they're different, but... But, I mean, they're both a really sweet, dried thing. They taste really good with the cheese. Mm. All right. That's so good. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, we also, we put apples on our boards, mm. always, but... Um, we usually try to cover them in lemon juice so that they don't brown. Yeah, I'm going to brown really fast. This one's... But since we're going to eat this now, <laughs> uh, we like to cut them in really thin slices. Everything is really small so that you can stab it with a toothpick. That's important. Uh, especially with COVID because you don't want people's hands touching everything. Mm -hmm. So we make sure there's always toothpicks. Um, and I do the same thing with the apples that Tierra does with the cucumbers. Just kind of layer them. Um, they look really nice. It does. And then, last but not least, oh yeah. There's some carbs on this board. Oh wait, and we forgot the, the blackberries. Usually we put blueberries, but something dark always looks really nice. Yeah, the blueberries always make the boards look extremely nice. Mm -hmm. That pop of blue. And we sprinkle them across, so I'm sprinkling blackberries across today. I think it still looks really pretty. Also fresh bread. Who doesn't like bread? <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the sharpest knife. Okay. <laughs> this over there. Put some uh, balsamic and olive oil together. Oh, yes. Go up the bread here. Or you can use crackers. You don't have to use bread. Mm -hmm. um, use naan. Both. Or both. Yeah, and that is... This is our board. This is our board. Good job. Yeah, um, we're going to eat it. We're going to eat it. I'm really hungry. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, thank you for allowing us to share our passion and our love of charcuterie with you. Mm -hmm. And, um, Get a chance to book us www.blankenandboard.com. Blankenandboard.com, Blankenandboard on Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Bye. Farewell.